Hey everybody, welcome to another rain vlog. I'm sorry that my last week's rain vlog I heard like I still reading Spinadon, but I didn't finish a book last week, which I wanted to do, but this time this is my goal for this week is to finish this book and start a new one for the Owl's Magical Readathon. So yeah, I'm just uh, what day is this? Day six, yeah. I know like uh, the host um herself said like re Read as much as you can, um, do it at your own pace and all that, which I needed to hear last week because with everything going on, I know reading usually helps me keep my mind off things, but I'm just not sure why I keep going to, like, social media or something like that. People bring it up or on YouTube, which I'm like, please stop bringing this up. This is stressing me out, so, yeah, I'm, but anyways, I really want to finish Hopefully to finish Spinadon this week because I'm liking the book so far. It's just I don't know why I'm reading this slowly. Maybe it's because I'm tired or something. My reading, not my reading schedule, my sleeping schedule is all messed up. So I'm really hoping to read more of this. Maybe like about 100 pages into it. Depending on what time of the night because it is really night, night, night time right now. So yeah, I'm really liking Spinadon so far even though... I haven't finished it, so that's my goal for this week. That's my goal for this week. <laughs> so, and also, like, every, especially with, like, right now, I'm, like, watching everybody's, like, I'm starting, I'm watching a person's um, vlog for Owl's Magical Rantathon to see how they're doing because I don't want to feel like I'm, le I don't want to say I feel left out, but it's just, I know some people, like, have same amount of books as me for the Alice Magical Readathon, or the uh, Ambitious Books, which is 12, which I'm like, you know how much I want to do that? I do not want to push myself, so I'm going to be, just want to try and read as much as I can, because I really want to read the next book that I'm thinking about picking up this week, which is either Letters of the Lost. I might need a contemporary right now, even though this is a sad, t sad book by Need something like that, or Haunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maskelko. I might want to pick this up next because um, I'm like I love the first book so much. I'm not sure, but also it's a bit big. Let me see how many pages it is. I know it's like about like 400 something pages. It's about 400. Uh, it's 424, so it's not that bad. I could read this within four days or something. I know I read this the first book within a week because I was still in school, so that's why it took me that long. So I might read this within four days. I'm not sure yet. So I might pick that one up next or Letters to the Lost. I might need a contemporary because contemporaries are usually easy and quick for me. But it all depends on my mood, so hopefully I'll pick those. That's my goal for this week, so sorry for ramping about my reading struggles during this readathon so far and plus I'm in the middle of doing another video which will be brain I hope I'll have it up this month so like I'm reading I'm like in the middle of a readathon and reading books for another video so yeah I'm pretty sure that's why but again I want to continue reading Spin a Dawn because I'm liking it so much especially with the um family themes to it, like she's close to our family and all that, and I'm just need that, especially, I like, love, I just love reading books about that has family themes in general, so enough rambling, I need to get to reading now. Good morning everybody, happy day seven, I've read a lot of Spin the Dawn last night, I got to page 154, so more than 50 pages, so I'm really happy about that. So I'm going to read more of this, and hopefully I get a lot of reading done today. So, yeah, fingers crossed for me. Happy day eight. 
I am more than halfway through Spin the Dawn. S still like it so far. Um, I'm really hoping to read like 100 pages of this before I go to bed. But other than that, I'm still hoping to try to figure out which one I would pick up next after Spin the Dawn. I mentioned this in the beginning of this vlog, but I'm still trying to figure things out. Like uh, all I've been doing all like I'm working on a project for my channel which I'm excited about but I can't reveal what it is because it's I won't be re I won't be releasing for the next few months so I'm excited about it but at the same time I just can't tell you like I mentioned this in my um, one of my videos in January I forgot which one but I'm just excited about this video but I can't say anything because <laughs> I'm because it all spoil on what happens in the ne um, a veil that's gonna be released in the next few months. So I'm excited about it, but I'm also nervous because, like, I know these kind of videos are like popular on BookTube, but I'm just excited about this project and I'm I'm excited. That's all I have to say. I'm excited about this project that I've been working on for like a new series on my channel, and you guys will see it in the next few months. So. I'm I'm excited about it and I really wish I could tell you guys what it is but I can't cuz it's a secret so <laughs> so I'm just again I'm I'm excited about it but I can't tell you until that happens so I've been doing that while I've been watching book to videos and I'm going to be reading Spinadon while I'm watching book to videos because it helps me motivate read more by watching <laughs> or listening to book to videos while reading so yeah I should get to that now. I uh, before I get to reading I forgot that a few days ago I did something crazy because the whole situation that's going on right now has been driving me crazy but um I bought some books <laughs> like I bought some book outlet because I love that web website because like all the books are discounted and and I've saved a bit of money and yet um I was on a book buying ban for so long that um I know the amount of books I'm I'm allowing myself to buy and because I'm trying to save money a bit but um I'm proud of myself but I did not think I would go crazy on buying some books and of course I'm still on my book buying ban which is to read three books before I buy myself one. So that's my book buying ban, which has been working for me. And um, I just need to, like, I do, I know I want more books, but that's why I've been going to the library and to see if I actually like the book that I rented from the library. And, um, and of course that's been working, like, so I can save more money. And um, I'm, I'm in, avoiding reading library books for some reason because yes I have books I own but I do like to have options for library books like yes I could if I re turn I won't be able to I could renew them but sometimes when there's books that I'm not in the mood for it I just return it to the library and just renew the ones that I really want to get to so I'm just you no know, I have like three library books with me but like technically four because I rented three from my own library and then rent one from Kevin said, I already read that one. So, and of course, it took me a day to read that one. And I already mentioned this in my wrap up video, which is The Promised Neverland. I love that manga so far, and my co worker is encouraging me to read it online. But I want to read the it's a good book. So, like, I, I, I'm love, I want to read more manga now. So, I'm glad I'm reading outside my comfort zone, but I did not find any mangas that I want to read from. Or want to get from book outlets, so I mostly got the books that I that are like on my top list of books that I want to get, and others that are like that grab my interest and they're at a low cost. So yeah, um, don't know why I'm rambling so long for like me excited about the books that I bought, but at the same time I really should should have took my time on getting books, especially with it what's going on right now but it's just I need some joy on getting I'm excited for exciting books that I bought for myself but also I've been 
trying to go through my trying to figure out which books that I have, I have lost interest in reading so I would not waste my time on them but it's really hard like especially like that um secret project video that I'm or project that I'm working on for um this channel that I won't be up for the next few months but it's kind of hard especially when I give them a like when I heard that it's reminds you of this book and and you want to give it a try but at the same time you're like do I really want to read it sort of thing? I still want to give every book a chance that I got. Don't get me wrong. I'm just... I'm just like... It's hard to um, narrow down books that I... Like top books that I want to read and others that I'm like lost interest. So, again, sorry for rambling about that. But I'm just glad that I got myself books. And I literally bought myself like... No. <laughs> <laughs> from Book Family because I was at A like because uh, I, I usually go up to um to the amount where you get free shipping but then there's one book that I saw that I saw at Barnes & Noble like once or twice and I didn't buy it so I was mad at myself and I was like I gotta get it before I regret not buying it so I'm not gonna tell you the books that I bought from Book Outlet because I will talk about it in my book haul when that when that will happen because like, throughout the whole year, I only bought myself one, excluding the ones I got from um, book boxes because I'm subscribed to them. But I'm just proud of myself for not buying myself a lot of books this year it, before buying nine books on Book Outlet. But I'm just miss doing book hauls, even though I'm doing myself a favor by um, saving some money and all that. And plus, you guys seem to enjoy my library book hauls, which I will do an updated one once this whole thing is under control and the libraries are open again because I'm going to be grabbing myself a lot of library books. So, okay, I'm going to get to read now before I get too distracted. everybody happy day 10 of the owls magical readathon i'm sorry that i didn't vlog yesterday it was like a busy day and i with a sleeping schedule all messed up i decided to take a three hour nap but i finished spin a dawn by elizabeth Lim. i love it so much and i want to read the sequel right now and of course i give this five out of five stars and i've completed um a um care for magical creatures class because it has a bird on the cover. So I'm really happy that I completed one of the owls class right now. So first book accomplished. And I decided that I'm going to read Letters of the Lost or To the Lost next. Just because I don't want to get into a rain slump. Because um, like I'm literally like almost in a rain slump right now because I'm doing the Owl's Magical Readathon and I'm also doing a feel that is totally not related to the uh, Owl's Magical Readathon like I'm be reading books for another video but I need some contemporary which helps, it, helps me get out rain slump so I'm going to start on Letters of the Lost and I'm not sure how far I'm going to read it. I'm going to see what I'm going to say as much as I can for today. 
Hey everybody, happy day 11 of the Owl's Magical Readathon. I started um, Letters to Us yesterday. I got to page, I didn't read a lot last night, page 20, but I'm liking it so far, but I was about to cry the whole time, so I was like, I gotta put, put it down before I started crying. So I'm liking it so far, but it's, I'm not gonna say it, it's really good, don't get me wrong, it's just, I'm just really liking it so far, and who knows, I might read half of this today and another half tomorrow, who knows, but fingers crossed I get this done. Usually contemporaries are a bit quick for me, so that shouldn't be a problem, so I'm gonna get myself a snack and get some reading done. Hey everybody, happy day 12. I've read more of um, Letters to the Lost, and I got to page 116, so I'm like a... I don't know how far I am in, through the book, but um, I am really liking it so far. It reminds me of some of the um, rom-coms that I love, like in movies and stuff, like You've Got Mail. That's giving me a lot of vibes from that, and I'm really liking it so far. And, and of course, Kevin is really trying to... <laughs> Isn't that a, a horror film? Boy. You've Got Mail? Yeah. No, it's not. It's a rom-com. I'm pretty sure it's a horror film. You want, seriously want me to Google and show it to you that it's a rom-com, not a horror film? It's horror, because I remember, you got mail, it's like one of those things you open up the email and then you die or something like uh, that. Um, no, that, you, you're mistaking that with a wrong movie, Kev. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a horror film. I'm seriously going to Google this and show it to him, because I know I'm right, because I've seen You've Got Mail since I was three, like, I watched that with my mom, so... <laughs> and it's one of my favorites since then, so... Horror film. Yeah. I'm seriously going to show Google it and show you that it's a rom-com, not a horror film. But anyways, I got some rain done. And I'm gonna just going to combine both vlogs from um, week two and week three. Because, like, one, I've been exhausted from um, what um, I've just been... So I'm just going to be combining You know you can stay books. at home from work if you feel like it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but anyways, and plus, I don't know how long this vlog is. I just don't feel like um, uploading it to my computer and then edit. So I'm going to combine um, two vlogs for um, week two and week three of Alice Bashful Readathon. So hopefully it'll go well. And plus, I don't know how long this vlog is. I'm assuming it's going to be short. So yeah, I'm going to um, try to... Um, Get some sleep, or I could read another chapter of this because I'm liking it so much, but I don't know. So, mm, um, cool. I, I'm just gonna go. So, good night. Hey, everybody, happy day 13, is it? 14. Yesterday was day 13. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't vlog yesterday. I was just a bit exhausted for the whole day. But I've read a lot of um, Letters to the Lost yesterday. I got to page 176 so i've read about more than 50 pages yesterday which is more than you usual i usually read 100 pages but it's just like with me uh, exhausted for the last few days i was like i don't want to push myself too far and even though i'm i'm liking this book so like i'm actually loving this book so far hopefully i'll get more rain done today maybe i might finish this book today who knows? But I got. I'm gonna be filming a couple of videos as well, so hopefully I get some of those three, th um, two things done today. Hey everybody, happy day 17. Sorry that I didn't vlog yesterday. It was just a bad day for me, and I did not do some rain for the last two days. But today I've read more of Letters to the Lost. And I got to page. 268 or 269 so I'm hoping to finish this tonight just because I just want to move on to the other two um, books to read for um, Alice Magical Readathon either um, Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco or Discovery of the Witches but mostly um, Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco because I've been holding off for so long I don't know why? Especially when I love the first book so much. So, 
I have no excuse other than like I should have read the next book immediately like other books there a bunch of books series I'm in the middle of but I just been wanting to read that for so long so I but at least in this book it's going by very quickly even though I've been slowly reading it but some days I've been reading it quickly while other days I've been reading slowly but other than that I'm still liking Letters to the Lost so far and yeah I should get to reading so I can get more reading um, done tonight so I can move on to the next book. Hey everybody, happy day 18. I finished Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kammerer and I love this book so much. I gave us 5 out of 5 stars. I just completed in the ne next um, Hogwarts class which is Muggle Stays is just to read a contemporary which I did and I'm gonna be starting Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maskelko because I've been wanting like I mentioned in a yesterday I wanted to read that book for so long so I'm making start it on that and um, hopefully I'll get some rain done today at least. Hey everybody happy day 19 I'm sorry that I didn't I honestly took a day off from rain that's why I didn't vlog a lot yesterday and I just needed a day off from rain which is fine and I deserve a day off so yeah I just started um hunting Prince Dracula today and I'm seriously about to cry I miss the characters so much <laughs> and um I just I miss Audrey Rose and I miss Thomas I I just I love these characters so much I'm I was like literally about to cry I'm like only two chapters in and I'm a about to cry because I missed the character so much and I did the same thing with P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han which is a sequel to um to all the boys I loved before and I was about to cry when I read the book again because I missed the characters and I'm doing the same thing about Honey Prince Dracula and oh my gosh I just missed the characters so much and the funny thing is earlier today that um Kevin like asked me like why are you reading something about Dracula when you don't like this stuff and I was like I explained to him this is a sequel to a um, to his series on reading, he was like, oh, okay, and I mentioned the title, and he was like, the, the, um, Jack, um, Jack the Ripper does the stocking, not the main character, and I'm like, you don't understand it, <laughs> so, I thought it was funny, and he just made me laugh as per usual, and I'm just so happy that I'm picking this up, because I miss the character so much, <laughs> I, I feel like I said it three times, but I do, like, I don't know why I was holding off reading the sequel for so long. It's like I have other books that are on my TV TBR that I wanted to read, but it's like with sequels, it's like hard for me to catch up. It's like if I'm not in the mood to read a sequel, certain sequel, I wouldn't pick it up until like a few months later. And oh my gosh, I just only two chapters in, and I miss the characters. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out how long this vlog is because I I feel like I'm combining um two week long re uh, uh two week long reading vlog for week two of owls and um and third week it's just it's just been stressful for me and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's stressed out about certain things but I'm glad that I completed two books for two um Owls, um, class, like I, uh, read Spin the Dawn, which counts towards, um, Care for Magical Creatures, and of course, I love the book, and it's five out of five stars for me, and, and I read Letters to the Lost, which counts towards Muggle Studies, and of course, it's a five out of five star read, so, even though I'm just so glad, with, like, with this read thon I have a short TBR because I, it's just really hard to get, read sometimes for me especially when I'm in a lot of stress and I don't want to put myself in even more stress by telling myself to read certain amount of pages of a book so I'm glad that I'm halfway through completing my TBR for Owl's Magical Readathon and of course um, Honey Prince Dracula counts towards um, Arithmancy which is um, outside of my favorite genre and I don't go towards historical fiction but I just miss this book so much that I need to count this so I'm glad that I'm picking this up because I missed the characters like I mentioned for fifth or sixth time I don't remember and I know I need to do um history of magic which is um discovery of witches so I'm gonna be picking that up as soon as I'm done with Honey Prince Dracula because like 
I miss the character so much. So I'm just, I I feel like I'm gushing over to, um, a book that I like, and I'm sorry about that. But I'm just glad that I have a short TBR, and I've been wanting to participate this readathon for so long. So yeah, and I'm just gonna end the vlog here, and I'm not sure how long the vlog is either. It's, like I mentioned, it was a bit. The last few weeks has been a bit stressful for me, so just bear with me. And I'm just happy that I'm participating in this readathon with a short TBR. That's the whole goal of mine. I'm glad I picked the career that I wanted, so I don't put myself in a lot of stress. But anyways, if you enjoyed this vlog, give us a thumbs up and comment down below what you're currently reading at the moment because I just want to get into people's convers get into a conversation on seeing what other people are reading. Like I did that on Twitter and that made me feel better by people telling me what they're currently reading and whether it's um they're doing a buddy read or I honestly want to do buddy reads but I, it's just I'm a shy person in general so I'm just afraid to talk to people whether it's in person or online so I do want to do a buddy read so if you guys want to buddy read a book with me let me know on Twitter or on Instagram <laughs> you guys can contact me on either of those but anyways you can also um, follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and Goodreach, which I'll link will be down below for you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!